advantages as well as the disadvantages of digital communication system. Uh, here coming to the, some of the advantages, we all know that uh, the digital signal has only two levels, that is zero and one. Because of having only two levels, here I'm taking a bipolar signal, uh, having a magnitude as plus one and minus one. If I take it like this, if, uh, here our digital signal has uh, can be able to withstand the channel noise and distortion. So even though noise has accumulated, that noise can be easily removed for a digital signal compared to the analog. So the reconstruction of digital signal is uh, better by considering uh, better compared to the analog signal. So that is the first one. So here digital signal, because of having only two levels, zero and one, it can be able to withstand with the channel noise and distortion. Uh, uh, this is only when uh, the noise and distortion levels are within the permissible limits. If the noise is very high, uh, it's very difficult to reconstruct uh, re or uh, recall, uh, regain the original digital signal. If the noise and the distortion are within the permissible uh, levels, then we can easily uh, remove this noise by using some sort of thresholding approaches or any kind of approach. Uh, so in, uh, the thing is that we can be able to uh, like withstand with the channel noise and distortion when compared to the analog signal. And coming to the digital communication system, we discussed the elements in the first module. In that module, we have seen that a number of uh, regenerative repeaters are present in the channel. So because there are number of regenerative repeaters throughout the channel, these repeaters consist of a comparators and amplifier. So in this, uh, we have comparator. This comparator has two inputs. One is the noisy input signal and other one is uh, the uh, like some threshold. What this, uh, uh, what, uh, this comparator will do, this compares the input signal with the, the noisy uh, distal signal with the threshold. If the input magnitude is greater than the uh, threshold, then it is considered as data bit one, that is at higher level else it is considered as low level of input signal. So finally, we'll, uh, the comparator output will be either zeros or ones that will be strengthened by the amplifier. So because of these repeaters, which regenerate the original digital signal uh, we, uh, throughout the channel, it, uh, we can be able to prevent the noise accumulation throughout the path and we can reconstruct the noise free digital signal. And uh, coming to the third advantage, here, the hardware implementation is flexible as well as feasible for a digital signal when compared to analog. And uh, next, uh, coming to the fourth advantage, in the elements, in the last module we have studied that source encoder and channel encoder are the elements of digital communication system, which converts the analog signal into binary stream. Uh, so thereby you are encrypting the data. Because you are encrypting the data, it is highly secure and because you are using convolutional uh, like convolutional codes or block codes uh, which are channel encoding techniques we can be able to detect and correct the error bits so these are all the advantages of digital signals because of high security somewhat uh, strangers cannot uh, grasp the data when compared to the analog signal so it is better so distance of communication is more efficient in realizing the exchange of snr for bandwidth so from the Shannon Hartley theorem, we can state the capacity of band, channel capacity as bandwidth into log one plus SNR phase two. And uh, next sixth advantage is it is easier and more efficient to multiplex several digital signals. So you can um, uh, transmit the multiple number of digital signals via a single channel by using time diffusion multiplexing. Here we it is better to you make use of time diffusion multiplexing when compared to frequency division multiplexing. And here storage of digital signal is easy and inexpensive when compared to the analog signal. And also a reconstruction of the digital messages is uh, reliable. Uh, that is without any loss, without any deterioration, you can uh, reproduce the digital signals. That is there is uh, less loss during the data recovery. And uh, the last one, you can see that the cost of the digital hardware day by day, it is re uh, reducing to, if you observe for every two to three years, it, is, it reduces to half 
but its performance doubles over the same period. So these are all the advantages of digital communication. So beyond that, we have the main draw, uh, drawback that digital signal has large bandwidth. Because of its uh, having large bandwidth, the system needs a large amount of channel bandwidth for digital signal transmission. Uh, because of this, it is not suitable by use, uh, the, like multiple number of signals cannot be transmitted by using FTM because of it's a higher bandwidth. So it is preferred to use time duration multiplexing uh, as a data transmission technique, as a digital data transmission technique. So in this module, we have discussed the various advantages and disadvantages of digital communication system. In the next module, we can discuss the various elements of pulse code modulation technique. Thank you for listening.